Hello there guys and welcome back to a brand new update video with myself Furum. Now today we're going to be taking a look at what is coming in the update on the 12th of January 2017. So now I've got a lot of good stuff this week and the devs have been addressing some issues that people have been having. So to start off with we now have these new junk piles. Now these will be replacing the ones that we previously had. As you can see here this one has a truck on it and if we just take a little look around you can see one just over here with a car and there are loads of different ones and you'll just get to go around and explore all of them i'm not going to ruin it all for you so now most of you may think that these new junk piles aren't all that great but i'm going to show you something on this one that is particularly great you'll notice here we have these new purpley loot boxes now if we take a look inside of this, you can see that we have a hatchet. Now these new boxes will be spawning simple tools, armor and weapons. And you'll be primarily finding these on the vehicle junk piles. So once again, you will now be able to find yourself some lower end gear when you're out and about scavenging. And you don't have to start from nothing and have to depend everything upon the components. And then alongside this, we will also soon be getting loot within caves. Caves will be spawning mining carts and crates that will give you loot. The only downside to this is it has been pushed into the pre-release branch, which will indicate that it will not be coming until the next forced wipe, which will be in February. Now the next couple of things I can't really show you, I'm just going to talk through them and you can just listen to my voice and you'll get to see it all in action in game once the update goes live. So firstly we have an increased view distance on the hat, riot helmet and pumpkins. Previously they were having issues and you weren't actually seeing these on people's heads when they were only a few meters away from you. They had to be pretty close for you to see them so this has now been addressed. You'll also notice now that plants will grow faster under sunlight. It still won't be quite as fast as them growing under ceiling lights, but it will be faster than normal. You will also notice that you no longer need cloth to craft wooden armor. And then thankfully most issues from last week have now been resolved. So you can now see your character when you go into your menu. The code locks will now be back to normal and many of the other issues that we had last week are now fixed. And then the last thing I have is new skins. We'll be getting some new skins again this week. This will include an AK skin, a bolt action skin, skins for most of the hide armor and a couple of other little ones straggling around. And Gary has also changed the way that the item store does their pricing. It is now automatically priced and the prices will go off of age. So when an item gets added, it will come in at a low price, which will be around about £1.20, I believe it is, £1.19. I don't know how that quite relates in terms of euros and dollars. But then it will slowly increase the order the item gets. So I believe last week items are now at £1.99. So that's about £2. So that is everything I have for you this week then guys. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, make sure you hit that like button. And if you would like to see more content, then make sure that you are subscribed. Thank you very much guys. Have a good day.